Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you one of the new features in Photoshop 2021. And uh, the feature I'm going to show you is actually a filter and it's called Nero Filter. So basically what it does, it does a lot. And uh, in this case I'm going to focus in colorizing images. And I've got many different examples on how it works and uh, uh, where it works and when it doesn't work. So. I've got this first image right here and I'm going to filter and right here just below converts for smart filters we've got neural filters and there we go we get this window here we can just move it slightly to the side if we want uh, or we can just expand it and as you can see we've got skin smoothing file transfer and right here we have beta filters these beta filters they're not all of them they're not available not all of them so photo restoration distance scratches and so on but they will eventually be added to Photoshop but what I want to focus right now is in colorize so as you can see we've got beta and we've got like a toggle switch so I'm going to click it here and that's it that's all I have to do is just toggle the switch and uh, Photoshop will automatically try to find colors and I'll be honest with you, this is quite cool. I don't say I'll, I'll keep it like this to deliver to a client, but it's quite a good job. And obviously you can tweak the, the cyan's reds, all of the colors basically. And what I want to show you also is on the output we've got as a new layer, current layer. So I'm going to stick to new layer and I'm going to click OK. And we are back in Photoshop. And as you can see before and after, it's actually quite cool. Uh, you just can see where the sky is and the boat and everything. So I think it looks quite cool. It's a great starting point. Probably I'll just go and uh, bring some curves. Then just try to tie in a bit more the colors. Like so. And uh, as you can see, it looks quite natural. If it's too over the top, drop the opacity. If the result on this layer here, it's over the top, drop the opacity because it's on a separate layer. So you've got full control. So let's close this one here. And now we've got another one, but that's for the last. <laughs> that's the last one image that we're going through. So this one here, as you can see, a lot is happening in this image. So we've got people we've got walls and it's a black and white there's a bit hint of uh, sepia in here but hey there's no color there's no information I wonder how Photoshop will deal with this so like before filter mirror filter loading and I'm going back right here to beta and one thing I need to tell you if you don't see them here you'll get like a cloud thingy so you can download them it only takes a second and another thing is these filters in here in beta they'll be edited in the cloud so basically you've got your version in here and nothing has changed but it goes through the cloud and comes back so depending on your internet speed it may take a bit longer or not so let's go to colorize beta click on it and bam look at this I'm going to click OK is output as a new layer and look at the detail in here it's absolutely fantastic you see how it picks every single color in here and the skin tones and everything it's actually quite cool so let's go to the other one what about this one here this one here has a bit of color it's a bit washed out normally what I would do in this image would be something like go to my levels or curves and I would bring tie in the colors just bring the colors the best uh, I could so just like so and I've got a tutorial on this in case you want to check it out and as you can see it did a very good job so just a couple of sliders and job done but let's see how it will behave with that filter so filter neuro filter and beta filter and colorize there you go. I'm going to click OK. Look at this. Bef before and after. And actually did a very, very good job, as you can see. 
My other version is more punchy, more contrasty, and obviously, because it's on a separate layer, I could drop the opacity. But just a click. One click, that's it. Job done. So I think it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to tougher ones. So what about this one here? This one here, just like before, there's a lot happening. And like before, neural filters, beta filters, colorize. And I'm going just to click OK for time being. And as you can see, it did a decent job. We can see hints of color it didn't go over the top. It's it's decent. It's decent and it's very usable. Uh, and like before, uh, I would probably this one here go to curves and just bring turn the colors a bit more to see if I could achieve a better result. And obviously add a bit of contrast at the same time. So I'm just going through the channels. And as you can see, within a couple of seconds, I got from this to this. And like I said, as a bit more contrast, if you want to just bring it down, just drop the opacity of the layer I created. So as you can see, it's quite cool. So let's go to the other one. And this one here, this is a tricky one. And I'll be honest with you, I grabbed this image because I wanted to see what Photoshop could do with this. How intelligent is their AI? So as you can see, this is literally bl black, white, and a few shades of gray, and that's it. So let's go to filter and neural filter. And I wonder what Photoshop will do with this. There isn't any information. Oh, where's the sky? What's this? As you can see, that there's no details on, on, on this vegetation or nothing. So let's see. So colorize. Let's click on it. Wow. Look at that. This is super cool. This is really cool. Can you see the, the, the amount of detail and the, the, how he separated everything and the skin tone in his face is absolutely fantastic. So before and after, before and after. This is really cool. This is, so uh, the AI is actually quite intelligent. <laughs> Let's go to another one. This one here, it's a photo. There's there isn't much information on the photo. Now I wanted to, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push uh, AI to its limits and see how far we can go or not and what will work or may not. So in this photo here, I'm going just, just like before, filter, neural filters. I know it sounds boring, but hey, I'm just giving you some examples. Colorize, job done. And I'm going to just click OK because I'm happy with all the results. And as you can see right here on the foreground, even the ocean is absolutely fantastic. But the sky, it's way over the top, way over the top. So what I can do is add a layer mask, select a brush, bring down the flow to about two, three, four, okay. And I'm just going to brush it in just a touch, just mute a bit more the color. And as you can see, it looks a lot better, a bit more natural. So far, so good, very impressed. But what will happen when you have already a photo that has color? Uh, so what Photoshop will do with a colored image? So let's try to find out. So I'm going to filter, neural, beta, colorize. And I'm going to click OK. So. Straight away, I can see the colors are not as vibrant, not as saturated. But to be honest, this is my, this, I did this photo, I took this shot and I just edited the way I felt it was, it felt right. And I like it. I really like it. But on this one here, it looks more natural, to, to be fair, because as you can see, the stone looks a lot more natural. On the other, on my version, it, uh, it's a bit more saturated, just like the sky. I think it looks quite cool. 
and last okay then so this is a photo i took this was actually i did the time lapse uh and the thing is this is night time sun rising light trails lots of different colors a lot of information how will photoshop see this image this will be interesting so filter neural filters and colorize ah there you go i'm going to click okay and as you can see didn't do much didn't do any favor to the image but let's say you drop the opacity so just much down a bit but this is this is a big no no on these sort of images but to be honest I'll, this one here shocked me this is absolutely fantastic really really cool and that's it for now uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everyone you know and even with those you don't know uh, this photoshop version is really really cool and don't forget when you go to filter and neural filters um, if you don't see them right as you see me see here there's a like a cloud you download it only takes a second or two and then you'll be able to do all of this and uh, if it takes a bit longer than you see on my machine it's not down to the speed of your machine it's down to the speed of your internet because those photos are going to the cloud and coming back uh, that's it for now thanks for watching once again and see you next time bye for now